to keep my flame money. Yeah, so you can go back. You give me 1,800, but I go back, I'll go already. Yeah, you already gave you 1,800. How much I give you already? 1,800. Yeah, so there you go. You asked for it, right? No, <laughs> give me 1,000. Give you what? <laughs> Come on, let's go. You're going to miss the train. You're going to miss your friend. No, so bad. No. I cannot go. Why not? Why can't you go? got that silver play button man so i think i had to do something special for that i'm gonna have a real party for the shit but i'm talking about for tonight like i got that no i got it today they called me they say man your shit is here well everybody's got one but mine came first so i got that news i was like man i gotta do something i was like what because I was gonna hit a boy up at uh, Marju Bars. But Name a bra, now this game of bra. Should be a shame of bra. How the hell you and Tom lunch and dig down the same bra? What's going on, guys? This is one and all the travel time with Paul. Make sure you like and subscribe. Share this video. Now we're gonna get straight into the topic. The topic of this video is about uh, another YouTuber over in Thailand. He lost his girlfriend, well, his so called girlfriend, to another well known YouTuber over in Thailand. Now, I will be doing a live about this uh, subject tomorrow. So make sure y'all tune in. I probably will be doing a live around six, seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So we're gonna get into the topic of the video. Now, this YouTuber, he's, he's known as uh, Game Abroad. He went over to Thailand, Pattaya, Thailand or whatever. He met a young, brown skinned, semi-thick Thai chick, young. Uh, young, she gotta be in her early 20s. And I've been watching this guy for months, but I didn't say anything, cause it's not my job. It, it, if I, I felt like, if I said anything about this guy, I would be coming off as a hater. Now, I know y'all seen the, the videos in the beginning or whatever, so let's get into it. Now, he had all his dumb subscribers. I mean, I can't believe you got you got grown ass man that damn dumb and gullible to they really thought he met this woman at a library over in Thailand. Now, I stayed in Pattaya for damn near three, four months, and hell, I can't even tell you where one library is located. Now y'all probably gonna say, well, that's cause you illiterate. You probably don't even read. Look at your vocabulary. Nah, I didn't go to Thailand and go, I didn't fly all the way to Thailand to go to no goddamn library. That was the last thing on my mind. Hell, I barely go to the library over here in the United States. Cause we got smartphones, tablets, and laptops now. That's the only reason I used to go to the library. And if I need to read a book, they got, I go to Barnes and Noble, or I can get an audio book for free on YouTube, or I can just download it on, the, on my Play Store. But that's, but, but I digress. So, he was telling everybody he met this Thai woman at a library, and everybody believed it. That was a, that's, that's a fan of his, and that subscribed to his channel or whatever. You had guys in the comment section talking about, yeah, my favorite Thai couple. I love you guys. She fit, friendly, she loyal. You got you a great one. Marry her, brother. I'm sitting back like, this shit is so goddamn cringe. And a lot of people be thinking I be making up a lot of these stories about what goes on in Thailand. Well, y'all see what's going on in South America. How the hell could I be lying? All you gotta do is read the comment section and see how naive a lot of these grown ass men that probably got grandchildren, how dumb they are. These dudes so sex deprived by women in the States and them being done so dirty. And then you see, they used to these so-called women over here acting masculine. If a woman show them just an ounce of femininity, they lose their goddamn mind. All it is is game. But then y'all say you don't need game to go overseas. Well, why this fool call his, why, why, why is this channel called Game Abroad? He need to change that shit to Lamar Bra. Cause I'm finna give y'all a rundown on what went down over there. So, every day when y'all was watching this man video, 
Did y'all not realize he was going to her job, which is a bar right there on Soy 6? He was bar finding her every day. Now, I think she was giving him a discount on the bar fine. Bar fine is like you go to one of the bars over there in Thailand, you meet your chick that's a freelance or whatever that's working in the bar. If you want to take her home, you have to pay the bar for that night or whatever. Then you got to pay her. So let's say I think she was uh, charging him 1800 baht per night. But then when the whole situation went down with Tom lunching, she upped it up to her normal price. I guess it was 2000 baht per night just for the bar fine. Then that's not including her price, which is probably 3500 to 4000 baht a night. So anybody with common sense could look at this fool and can look at that woman and know damn well he didn't meet her at no library. The only library he met her at is the Book of Dicks. Now, guys, what do y'all think she's going to be doing the minute he hops on that plane and leaves Thailand? She's going to go get with somebody with a bigger dick and an even bigger wallet. See, I told y'all almost a year ago, guys, don't bring your heart to Pattaya, Thailand. What did y'all say? Oh, he had his heart broke. He bitter. He just hey. Well, by that logic, did this dude got my bra get his heart broke? No, nah, I don't think so. I, but I, I'm going to tell you what I do know. He was playing on the heartstrings of a lot of his supporters. They was that dumb. Some of them probably old enough to be this man's father and grandfather. They was this damn, they was so damn stupid. Such a goof troops. They actually believed that she was a genuine woman and she was a woman with white qualities. Now, y'all ever heard the saying, if it looks like a duck, quack like, if it act like a duck, then it's a duck. What did it, every day he was showing y'all he was going up to the bar every damn day to meet this woman at her job. He was never her pimp. Y'all talking about his pimp is what he's doing. Nah, he's not her pimp. He was her trick, her sponsor. The only pimp that this woman got is uh, the bar she's working at in a mama song. He was never her pimp. And then he made a video because he was butt hurt, responding to Tom Lunching, talking about, you just got a massage from her. Uh, you a trick. Man, you, you tricking on her too. Every time you was going to the shoot content with her, every time you was going to the bar to pick her up to get content, you had to bar find this girl every day. Now I heard it was you was bar finding her 1800 by the day, but then I guess after the time luncheon situation, she moved it up to her regular price, which is 2000 by the day. Then not to mention, like I told y'all earlier, not only you got to pay the bar fine to take the woman with you to spend the night with you, then you got to pay her. Which she probably, the going rate for her to stay the night, which would probably be 3500 baht to 4000 baht a night. And that's not including where he paid for the bar. So you even had one dummy in his comment section, uh, when Tom launched your comment section talking about some, that ain't no flex. You pay $10,000 US dollars just to sleep with her. That's a dummy that's never been in Thailand. I, I don't know nobody who paid $10,000, not even over here personally, to be with a woman for one night. You damn sure ain't gonna pay that in no damn Thailand. You a, and unless you one of them rich uh, guys from the UK, Australia, or the Middle East, Dubai, some damn where, and they ain't even paying no 10,000 US dollars to be with a damn woman in Southeast Asia. Hell, I guess he meant to say 10,000 baht, but I'ma tell y'all something. That woman ain't even going for that price. For 10,000 baht, if you walk around, if you walk along Soy 6, the street she was working on, you could find way better attractive women for less than some damn 10,000 baht. Now I'm finna school you idiots that's in Gamma Broad comment section and never been to Thailand. If y'all dummies think y'all about to go to Pattaya and uh, find you a wife, a, a woman that's worthy of marry, marrying, and then you thinking you just finna get you a damn uh, job working online as a uh, stock, uh, as a as a day trader and all that good shit, think again. Because in order to keep one of them women in your life, you gotta be paying her every damn day or put on a weekly sal salary or a monthly salary if you plan on dating a woman and party out full time. See, once you once you venture out to other parts of Thailand, you can meet quality Thai women. But the minute you tell them that you lived in party out before or you even utter your mouth to tell them you thinking about visiting party out. If they, if they peace league was wet as a Pacific Ocean, that motherfucker finna get drives to Sahara Desert. The minute you tell them that you've been to Pattaya before, you plan on going there. Negroes got to be the only bottom feeders, bottom feeding dudes who's happy to go to the sewage, to the most sewage degenerate cities in these countries. You go to you go to sewer in the DR, and you impressed with them hood rat, busted thing of biscuit pills, whatever dope boy looking women down there in sewer that look like any type of chick you can get over here in America. All you got to do is go to the Bronx. 
or then you go to like Medellin, but but they scared, they running y'all out from over there. They got y'all scared to go back and visit. Or now y'all going to Pattaya, Thailand. Y'all do realize it's more to Thailand than Pattaya, right? You could go to Phuket, you could go to Chiang Mai, you could go to Bangkok, man, you could go to some of the province. If you really going over there for the culture like you claim, you would go to these other parts. But now, you dudes don't know how to have a conversation with a woman. Bad social skills thanks to the internet and social media. So what y'all doing? Leaving, leading with your wallet and using dating apps. Real dudes ain't gotta use dating apps all the damn time to meet a woman. All game meals is knowing how to converse with a woman. It's, it's just having good social skills, knowing how to talk to a human being, something that's supposed to be natural, something you supposed to do. But you 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 dummies thinking it's a flex because you getting on tenor and bumper and you getting a lot of hits before you get to these countries. Not knowing it's like 9,000 more dudes globally from these other countries that's planning on going to these countries you got your, where you got your tender and bomber location set. They getting the same amount of hits you getting from the same woman. So don't kid yourself. If you if you got 500 likes on bumper or tender before you got to, to the Philippines, you're not gonna meet 500 damn women when you get there. Hell, you barely gonna even meet six. Cause guess what? Just like you was on that dating site trying to swipe right for somebody, it was it was 90, it was 9,900 more guys doing the same thing you was doing. Did you ever think about that? That's why it's better when you go to one of these countries, you walk up on a woman and you just have a normal conversation with her. See, y'all think I got my heart broke when I was in Pattaya. Then some people say he gang goofy. Man, let me tell you something. If y'all had gang and y'all, if y'all was so-called not gang goofy, y'all wouldn't be going to a red light district in the first goddamn place. Stop all that capping talking about some y'all going to party y'all. Y'all got women, women buying y'all drinks, tricking off on y'all. It does happen to some guys if that woman really feeling you. It does happen on occasions. That's not normal though. Now, and I'm and I'm gonna say something else too. I hope you guys know for all the brothers, this is why when you, if you plan on going to Thailand, you don't need to go to Pattaya. If you meet a Thai woman and she tell you she only like chocolate man or she, she come out with some shit like she only date black men, that's a red flag. You don't even need to be talking to her because you know what that mean? If another brother that's got more swag and looks smooth and more attractive than you come around, guess what's going to happen? While you tricking off on her and spending your money trying to impress this Thai woman, she she's using his money taking uh going out on taking him out on dinner dates giving giving up the uh peace leave to him for free so all that shit they black they love black men in Pattaya. man over the hell they don't they love any man that's got money that's lit that's willing to leave with his wallet you could be a 129 year old great 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 grandfather from the slave trade and you walk down soy six 66 uh 67 women gonna come ah, ah, like you michael jackson or justin bieber back in 2010 only because they think you got more money and you don't mind giving it giving it away and sharing it when you get that aid now this dude lame abroad i mean game abroad i ain't mad at him i can't get mad at the pastor that's running the congregation you could go you gonna get mad at the church members for believing in the lies they was the ones that was dumb enough to support dude uh saying yeah 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 my favorite tight couple uh and, and then when he went when she went to go spend time with tom launching they thought it was some guy abroad did how you lose out on a good woman like that are y'all that damn slow y'all didn't realize this woman is a working girl uh she only just left one customer and possibly went to another customer that was never his girlfriend uh, and then y'all want to know what's crazy he was kissing shorty all in the damn mouth at one point but then the minute she got on video with Tom launching, he tried to play all hard like he was a player or a, pimp, or a pimp all of a sudden and not kiss her back. So she whispered in his ear. I guess she said she didn't want the regular 1800 baht uh, per month. I mean, per uh, night for the bar fine he was giving her. She wanted the 2000, the, the rate she used to charge everybody else. So as y'all look at them, their chemistry is not the same since that video. It, it, it's, it's, it's dead as a plate of burnt spaghetti. And I'm gonna say this too. Guys, if you're gonna fly all the way to Thailand just to only hang out in Pattaya, you set yourself up for failure. I didn't only I didn't just spend my time in Pattaya. I went all over the damn country. Hell, I even rented a few rental cars. It was scary as hell driving on the opposite side of the uh, vehicle and the opposite side of the road. But after two days, that shit was fun as hell. 
I got to drive all out to the countryside. It was beautiful. Then when I, I went to one town, I can't remember the name of it. And even if I did know the name, I went to tell y'all, I ain't blowing up no spots. Y'all can have Patsy out. Them SED women over there. Y'all can keep running through them women, uh, bare, bareback or whatever, coming over here with a penis looking like a damn Popeye from 1996 or whatever. They're overcooked in the oven. Now, I wonder how many of y'all goofies didn't know, didn't realize this girl was a bar girl. You can look at it and tell she got more miles on her than my grandma's 1985 Ford station wagon. But y'all, but every time a YouTuber get a halfway decent, attractive woman, wife her up. She, she look loyal. Don't, don't lose her. You got you one. Hey, I'm. Hey, I now understand why a lot of y'all having a hard time with women in the United States. Because first of all, yeah, I know the women over here fucked up in the head. I've had my fair share of good American women, great American women. And I've had my fair share of uh, fucked up American women. But I'm gonna tell you this, in the last few years of my age with the wisdom I got, when I get to talking to one and I see the red flags, I'm gone. You ain't gotta show your ass with me, but one time and I'm uh, I'm gone, I just move on to the next one. But I ain't, I, I'm not about to get online complaining like a female. Uh, women in America, they want. When I give it a few years, y'all about to be complaining about women in these foreign countries too. Have a job been watching TikTok and Instagram lately? See y'all hollering about the Matrix, but the Matrix has no border. Thanks to technology, social media, and all this shit making the world smaller. Even women in the villages in some of these countries got access to uh, TikTok, got an iPhone or Android, and they see what's going on. They they know what's up. They they know what time it is. So y'all thinking. And another thing too, quit thinking because you're America, because you're American, these women in these countries go automatically drop to their knees and worship you like you, Jesus, on my grandma's yard, I'm on my grandma's wall with the blue eyes looking like Michael Jackson, when we know they ain't the real Jesus. Now nah, it's a front. Y'all gotta remember, they got some of the best damn game in the world in these foreign countries. When you come from the type of poverty they come from, they motivated to, to be some of the best actresses on the planet. They can replace Taraji uh, Henson, whatever her name is, Taraji going around crying, talking about some that money ain't money. In. But I'm gonna tell you, if Hollywood decided they wanted to go get a Thai female to replace her as an actress, they hey, they could go get one and she'll win a golden glove, a golden glove, an Oscar, all that shit in one damn year because they such a good actress. They could put on a good show. Then y'all see the video I, the clip I played before the video started. That was a separate that was a separate situation. That was a foreign white guy, whatever. He met a Thai chick. I guess uh, they, they negotiated a price for like 1800 bucks, And she baited and switched on and wanted more money. So he made sure he recorded everything and documented everything of her, of him asking, did you ask for 1800 bucks? She said, yeah. Is that what I gave you? She said, yeah. Not knowing he was recording. You gonna run across a lot of that in Thailand. See, you may not get scoped to Colombia behind a situation like that or get set up like they do in the DR with the police or uh, story you at and uh, making you pay the... Uh, Freelance or more money, but in Thailand the cops are starting to catch on too. Cause you don't you do not want to deal, you do not want to be in a messed up situation with a top police. Cause if you run across the wrong one, they'll start your ass too. You gotta remember a lot of these women, they they connected with a lot of these Thai mafias. Them guys you be seeing on them damn motorbikes or whatever that's be posted up with them vests on the shit. They could they well connected. So be careful. Make sure you don't run across the wrong Thai woman that'll get you caught up, uh beat. Or, or through from an eight-story uh, condo, or you held up somewhere in a Thai jail or whatever, getting that story for damn near 100,000 baht before you can get out and see the light of day again. Now, a lot of people say I make my videos because I'm mad at Thai women. You just a bitch. I never said I was mad at Thai women. I started making these videos to educate guys who's planning on coming to Thailand. Now they starting to see my videos are aging just fine because of this Tom Luncheon and Game of Bronze situation. I even said I even saw somebody say in Game of Broad comment section, that guy was right. I guess you shouldn't bring your heart to Patia Thailand. That's what I've been telling y'all for damn near nine, ten months now. But then you'll have these other bigger YouTubers over there say, I'm a hey, I'm a simp, I'm just jealous. Where y'all start, well, in 2024, y'all start to see a whole lot of shit come to light that I've been saying about this country. Now, for all you weekend warriors that's planning on going to Thailand, Patia would be the perfect place for you. But all you dudes that's planning on being aspects over there, staying over there more than a few months, why the hell you want to go there? You must want an SCD or something. That's what you want. So, 
Make sure y'all like and subscribe. I will be doing a live about this video, talking more about the game of Brown and Tom launch a situation tomorrow. So make sure you tune in. And until next time, I'm out. One.